Hey everyone, going to do a little bit of a dying, trap dying uh, video this time. Got some speed dip. I picked this up at the Iowa Trapping Convention. I'm going to do four gallons of gas per this gallon, give or take. I'm not going to measure anything, I just got a gas can. Well, however it fits in a bucket, because I want to be able to reuse it. Say, Remington, you guys know Remington from the videos. He wants to come over and dip his, he can just come over and dip his. But, here's where we're at. Got a stove, I need to clean it up still. This is just the way I picked it up and brought it in. I haven't decided if I'm going through the ceiling or if I'm going through the wall. Probably through the wall, because I don't want to mess with the ceiling, have a leak. Or the roof, I should say. Got the winch. Huge plugger in. I have to extend the, I have to extend this. I mean, it'll work for me, but it definitely needs to extend it. Basically, that'll go down. I gotta get my base mounted. It'll go down to the base. Hook your fur onto the clamps. Pull them off. Now, originally I was gonna put it here. I had a plug in. Actually, it was gonna go right here. Make it out here farther. But I don't want that stand there in case I gotta pull my truck in here for some reason. So, the funny thing is I just got this winch. And my buddy called me yesterday and says, hey, I got a winch if you need one. So, it looks like I'm getting another one. I'm gonna mount it over there. So I can just lift my deer up. Somewhere in there, there's gonna be another one. So, I'll be able to just lift my deer up, do two deer at once or whatever. And then I just put this in. You guys haven't seen. Picked this up at this convention too. There's a, I just got rid of a bird nest. It came in, built a nest, laid eggs, and abandoned the nest. I got rid of that. It's uh, I haven't got a bolt in there yet, but you can put it up stowaway. Even got old Lee Rusot to sign it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But getting there one step at a time. I only dug out some of my 110s. They're pretty much ready to go. I see one was in, was in, left in the, uh, it needs to get some rust removed, but the rest of them are good. I didn't even use hardly any of them last year. Too deep of water. So that's pretty much what we got going on. I just shipped out a whole bunch of hats, the Trapper J hats you guys seen. So if you ordered one, it's coming. Probably have it by the time you see this video. And this is a new addition. If you haven't been in a live stream. John Euler sent me that. Turtle shell, it's pretty sweet. Other than that, that's about all that's been going on. Trying to do some organizing. A little bit at a time. Trying to get her to actually be ready for trapping. Well, it's basically ready. I just need to pull the furs off, right? Got me some organizing going on. Whole lot better than the other shed. So there's the blue gun. It's waiting. It wants to be used. And then I found out with this whole hat selling, I gotta have boxes and I gotta get a label maker. So yeah, maybe I need to add on. Here's what I'm thinking. Before I get to the video here, this is a mess I know, but I'm thinking about pouring a pad out here, six foot or so give or take concrete wall here concrete wall there and putting my freezers and stuff here and extra storage like four-wheeler um, put my four-wheeler right here in the front and put my freezers down on that end it's just gonna be a simple lean-to though nothing fancy and then probably just have the door out here I haven't decided yet I could put a door there on the side but I think I'd rather just have the door out here where I can just bring the stuff in and not have to tear into my other shed. So that's the next spring's project. We're gonna build another shed. Woo -hoo. And Bertha is ready to be used. I think I'm just gonna take dirt straight off this hill right here and go with it. This is pretty much the way the dirt is all throughout this area I trap. So we're just gonna roll with it. As you can see, it's darker dirt there, lighter dirt here. It's just a, I don't know, we'll see how it turns out use what you got all right let's go get i'm just gonna go wash these guys nothing fancy i'm not gonna show you last time you guys gave me shit said i was washing my truck and stuff 
Here's some of my canines. I'm just gonna wash them. The ones that are still shiny, brand new. I'm gonna uh, show you guys how I how I uh, can rust them up real quick, and then I'll dip them later. So here we go. Let's go. All right, here we go with this. If you're scared of gas, or if you're in town, you ain't got no place to use gas. You can use like acetone. It's a little bit less volatile. Man, those wildfires got my sinuses all messed up. And I'm over in Missouri. And I don't normally have sinus problems. It's either that or it's because I've been wearing a mask. I gotta wear a mask at work. But that's probably my problem, actually. This is wearing a mask. I'm outside, nice breeze, so. Ain't gotta worry about the vapors too much. I'll go right there. Looks good enough for me. Set this guy over here. This says right here on the side, seals, penetrates, rejuvenates old and new traps. Brand new trap in a bottle. It smells exactly like black paint. It smells exactly like paint. Did I get duped? I think I got duped. Smells like a can of black paint. But it probably ain't. Probably got something in there to rejuvenate, rejuvenize your, your traps, you know? I wanna get this shit on me. I think I'm gonna give her a little mix. You know, cause we don't follow instructions all that great. Surely you gotta mix it. Yeah. I seen at the Iowa Trapping Convention, I seen some that were dipped and they looked really good. So we're gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Save my little rings here. See, I don't know how, well, this one's definitely rusted enough. If you're using a, I didn't get that one quite clean enough. If you're using a, if you're not using offsets, you'll have to put something in, in there. I think it's just that fast. And one. Gonna be a lot of walks back and forth. I got it on myself. I'm staying for life. My, my, <laughs> my toes and everything are gonna be staying after this. All right, let's see what it does with the somewhat rusted, somewhat rusted trap. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Look at that. Heck yeah, that's gonna look good. I didn't probably didn't even need to rust them then. That's all right. That one's hung up on it, so. All right, here we go. We're rolling now. I don't know. I, this video could be somewhat long just for the fact that it, I'm going to show you it real life. I'm not going to like speed me up. So this is like, this is the part you should be enjoying out here. Hanging out in the shed. 
I can't have music going because I'm making a video, but usually I got music going. And we're rocking. Oh, yeah. And another thing is the gas will evaporate right off. But you want to do this early just for the fact that you don't want to do it like it during season. You don't want to do it this way. So it's not even October yet. We're doing this. I'm going to put them in a let them hang out here for a little bit, air dry, and then I'll put them in a tote. And then I'm going to wax them right before season starts. It's actually fairly easy, believe it or not. And they look good. It's coating them really good. I don't know if you guys can make that out or not, but it's really coating them. I suppose if you wanted to, you could let them set and drop them in there again. I mean, that bucket, I'm gonna reuse that bucket. I'm gonna put a little kit lid on it, put it somewhere safe, not in the shed. Can't even hardly smell the gas anymore. Higher octane gasoline means faster drying time. Do not attempt to mix with alcohol or gasohol. It will not mix. Use gasoline only. Mix one quart of speed dip to one gallon unleaded gasoline or in one gallon Coleman fuel in a well ventilated area. Uh, gasoline will evaporate leaving the dye on the trap and odor will disappear. There is nothing saying how long to dip them. So look how black those are. They're looking good. I'm digging it. So basically, I will probably dip, double dip them. I'm gonna try a double dip here after they dry and see what how it looks. Just because I have all this here. And the mama chicken and the babies are hanging out over here with me. They follow me everywhere I go. Like real kids, you can't have any peace and quiet. All right, we're cruising along. If I had all this sorted and ready to go, it would have went a lot faster, but I didn't. I just took them, threw them in the truck, and went and washed them. But hey, uh, another thing is, I will. You'll probably have to park there for a little bit. I'm blocking the driveway. These K9 Extremes already came painted, but I'm gonna, I've been dipping them anyways. So I just did the video like five minutes before we did the started making this dipping one and look at the traps already look at them it's instant they start changing colors here I'll bring this out here see it 
just so you, you can see where I didn't spray. See, it, it starts to change them like instantly. And no, it doesn't matter what brand of trap. That's a bridger right there. But it's pretty much instant. It starts to go rusting. I'm, I was serious. A day, you're good to go. I wasn't kidding. But yeah, I went through that video together and then I started making this one. Last of these out. Freaking sinuses, I can't get over it. My buddy made me these. It's just out of some 11 gauge wire. You just make a circle and you got a loop on this end, it hooks into here, and you, you can bundle your traps up. Works pretty slick. Um, statistically, this is the number one time when people get, lose their traps. It's not out on the trap line. It's when they're doing this kind of stuff and you go in the house and you live in town and your neighbor's watching you and, or somebody and they come along and they just grab that two by four and just take off or they can grab a handful of traps. So now's when you need to be more vigilant than when you're out there setting your line. <laughs> people will grab them in bundles right now. You know, I've really been, uh, for years I've been wanting to try this, but I'm like, nah, I don't want to mess with no gasoline and all that stuff and mess with scent. But, you know, too much early, it'll be, the, the scent should be gone plenty, and then you're going to wax them anyway, so. Uh, you don't have to mess with fire, the logwood. Sometimes I would burn the logwood dye, so overheat it. And then, I really haven't had any trouble with, uh, getting your water too hot and and making your springs weak but I, I heard a lot of it at the convention you know people I talked to people came up to me and talked to me about how I did my traps and stuff so I think this is gonna be the way to do it for me like I said I'll, I might double dip them just for the hell of it I'm gonna see after they're dry they look good but I already I still got all that you know and you only need it once now that was 32 bucks for that but you can get you can get pints so you can get one gallon per pint so if you don't have very many traps just get you a pint i am going to put a lid on there i'm gonna make it so the lid can breathe obviously so it doesn't uh swell up and i'm gonna cover it with something and put it out back that way i can just dip every time i need to next year just stir it up and dip again that's what the guy at the convention told me. He just keeps you reusing. He just adds a little bit and reuses it. So. Let's see. These were the first ones. Right here. See, this one here didn't have like any rust on it. That's so you can see through it. But it looks really good though. Yeah, look at that. That looks pretty damn good. Once it dries up. It doesn't look dry, but it, it really is. It's got a... It's real thick. I might not have to double dip it. Like I said, I'm gonna look. It looks really good. We'll see. Stay tuned. Uh, I think this is the way I'm going from now on. No, I like it. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this one. Um, I appreciate it. 
Like I said, look at those freaking traps already. Half hour probably since I've done them. Look at that. They're already, they were as shiny as it can be. They're gone. They are ready to, tomorrow. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Later.